Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand One Games. I'm your host, Gaming J. Today we're jumping into Test Drive Unlimited. Now I remember Test Drive from the early DOS days. I remember playing it on a, a black and white monitor. And I say black and white, it was really sort of like black and yellow almost. Um and yeah, I remember Test Drive was sort of like marketed as, I seem to recall a game where it was like, you had to put on your seatbelt and 10 and two, and it was like literally like you were test driving a car almost. Um, I think it later became like a sports racing arcade simulator style game, but I still remember playing an old Test Drive. I don't know if it was the first one, maybe it was Test Drive one or two. But it was definitely on my uncle's old DOS computer when I was a kid. So interested to see what happened to the Test Drive series over the years. And it really kept up with it, to be honest. Test Drive Unlimited, I do know, is a little bit of a reboot of the series. So it doesn't have any of the continuity of the previous games. Which, when I read that, I was like, the Test Drive games had continuity? I have no idea. So, I mean, what kind of continuity? Did you have, like, returning characters and, like, ongoing beefs and stuff like that? I, I don't know. Maybe they did. Uh, I don't want to go online, though, so that's okay. Anyway, let's just go ahead and hop into the world of Test Drive here and see what it's like. So we are arriving at an airport, I presume. Or maybe not. Is this us? The passengers for flight 6814 to Honolulu are asked to please present themselves for boarding at gate C. Ladies and gentlemen, please have your passports and boarding passes ready for inspection. What is happening? Is my guy a criminal? Maybe we're going to fly a plane. Maybe that's the first vehicle they give you access to. Test drive aviation. Or else this game is set in Honolulu and they just want to give you the full experience of taking a plane, waiting at the airport, going through security. Like, what feelings am I supposed to be feeling right now? <laughs> We're just watching. Okay, screw this. All right. Some cutscenes feel more relevant to the plot than others. Sometimes you're just kind of curious where it's going to go. All right, so this game does take place in Hawaii at a Hawaii rental car. Makes sense. Let me tell you, I've been to a lot of rental car places, and they don't typically have cars like that. Not that they'll rent to me. It's the Ford GT. In case you want to rent one of those, you can also rent a Dodge Viper. Or an Ashton Martin. Or a Mercedes-Benz. Jeez. These cars are all worth more than my life. Let's go with uh, Dodge Viper. And... Oh, I can rent it for 30... Is it 30 minutes? This is how long I'm renting it for. I have 160,000 credits. Rent this vehicle. Get the ex Check off that extra $5 a day insurance so that we can total this car. Please. Okay, here's our new car. Taking it for a test drive for an unlimited amount of time. And put your selection through spaces. Follow the route marked on the cyan on your GPS to reach the first challenge. Okay, so there's the camera. Alright, peel out of the the rental car place. And off we go. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> now this is a rental car. Beep beep out of the way, pedestrian. I'm in a rental car. The next intersection, turn right. Turn Where's right. the intersection? Oh, onto the grass. The rental car people are just like watching from the side of the road, just like, oh God, he's got our car. Uh, enter. Okay, so this re immediately reminds me of uh, Burnout Paradise City or whatever. We had to drive around to different uh, like spots on the map. It's sort of open worldy. And then when you got there, you pressed a button to like join a race. But I, I guess that's the same thing that's going to be happening here. So this is where the rubber hits the road in challenges. You earn master points and credits. We also earn rental car value customer points because I kind of only have another 28 minutes with this car, guys, and the rental car guys want me to return it. And I got to go. I, I got to put a full tank of gas when I do return it. So if this race can be quick, that would be ideal. 
Oh, yeah. Did you rent your car, too? So, yes, when you rent a car, I think it's $5 a day extra, and you get basically do whatever you want insurance. You just sh return the car smashed into a ball, and they'll still take it. So, whoa. Oh, man, we are way off the road. I'm accelerating, by the way. That was actually cool. I can't, I don't know the last game I slid that, I've ever slid that far off the road on. That's crazy. Um, but definitely if you're going to be driving your car like I am, you want to get that extra insurance. Okay, we got to figure out how to turn. Not being able to turn is costing us the race. Okay, we're at checkpoint three of eight. Okay, next checkpoint. All right. Hey, we have caught up to these guys. Out of the way, meatbag. All right, here we go. We can do it. They're just too chicken to accelerate to insane speeds, but not me. I don't know the meaning of the word fear. Um, this might be one of the first times that I've driven around Hawaii, and I know it's a crap. I know it's a virtual Hawaii, but even at that, I can't think of too many other games that take place in Hawaii. Crap, we were briefly first, and now we just lost. Pretty sure we just came in dead last. Yeah. You know what sucks, too? We're not even at the beginning of the uh, race. It's not like we can do it again. We're now in downtown... Uh, downtown Hawaii. What is this? Buy different cars for sale. With all my money. Well, what if I don't want to buy a car? I guess I got to select one of them. Uh, let's buy the Sky Roadster. Why not? Your itinerary is being recalculated. All right, GPS. Oh, that's a car. Beep beep. You have reached your destination. Pull in here. Enter. Welcome to a Saturn dealership. <laughs> yeah, this Dodge Viper is not giving me enough bang for my buck. I'd really rather go for Saturn. So you know what's interesting is this game actually really does have the test drive element to it. It's like you're renting cars, you're going to dealerships to test drive and buy cars. I thought that maybe this was just a Need for Speed ripoff, but test drive really does have a slightly different feel to it. Um... Can we go for a test drive? Just buy it. It's only 33,000 credits. And let's go with a sunburst yellow paint scheme. Your itinerary is being recalculated. Now, does the car rental just get returned? We'll need a garage, store your vehicle, drive to the realtor, and so we're gonna buy a house? I'm setting up shop in Hawaii, guys. Um, as I was saying, I think this is my first time ever driving around Hawaii, because I can't think of too many other games where they've simulated Hawaii. I'm curious to know whether these buildings and neighborhoods and stuff are accurate. Maybe if anyone watching this lives in Hawaii can fill me in, but I mean, I'm kind of curious. Okay, we've just learned something. A head-on collision doesn't really do anything to your car other than slow you down. Good to know. I've long wished that some company would make a game based in Toronto because I've wanted to like go around neighborhoods and stuff that I know in, in the game and just see how realistic it is. But yeah, Hawaii seems nice. I don't know. I've never been, never been in real life, never been in a video game until now. I, I would visit Hawaii. Um, I always, you know what? I always forget about Hawaii. When you think of beach communities in the U.S., I always think, you know, California is like the cool one. And then Florida is like the dollar store discount version full of, uh, you know, if, if you ever want, if you ever want to be disturbed, just do a Google search and start with the phrase Florida man. You will find disturbing, ridiculous things. So, yes, Florida's <laughs> kind of a joke. Uh, here I am insulting a huge viewer base. I don't know. If you are from Florida, please. Uh, you know. 
I don't know how to finish that sentence. I don't know. Don't think ill of me. I'm just crazy Canadian. Um, but yeah, California has always struck me as like the cooler place to go. And then Florida is sort of like, that's where everyone retires. It is Disneyland and has also has alligators and really crazy things uh, and, uh, happening down there. So, uh, but then I always forget that Hawaii is a place, you know, Hawaii is a place too that has beaches in America. Mostly because it's like so far away from America. It's crazy. It's like way out in the Pacific, but I always forget it's out there. Remember, you can buy more luxurious and spacious places as well as garages as you enter earn more credits. Buy the house of your dreams by pressing X. Let's do it. We can move to Wapahu Village, Milani Haven, Chemo Ditch House. Or the beach house. Okay, we can really only afford this village house. And that is it, eh? We can take a virtual tour. Like, if we click in here, we can, like, see one of the rooms. Ooh. It's actually not... It's actually a, a nice living room, kind of. So it's sort of like a, a bachelor. Your living room, kitchen, and dining room are all just... It's big open concept area. Okay. Um, I'm pretty sure that's exchange houses or sell a house. All right, so I'm pretty sure we can only really afford the starter house. Let's just buy it. Is being we came to Hawaii with $150,000, $60,000 in our pocket. Now we own a car and a house and we have no job, no source of income. It's all going to be okay. Hope this, hopefully this illegal street rate racing stuff really works out. We'll have to start winning some races, of course. Get out of here, sir. Alright, I think this is the race we lost earlier. Either that or it's our house. One or the other. It's our house. Not a bad chunk of property. Place where a guy could really hang his hat. Okay. You're now all set. Your house provides you with a garage where you can store your cars. That's the most important function of a house is to give you a garage. If messages in the news section can track your progress. They should call this test live, not test drive, because it's you're testing out somebody else's life, man. Two new news items. Congratulations, the purchase of your new home, and you've been invited to Race Club E. My guy's just sitting on the couch, relaxing, chillaxing. All right, let's go. Your itinerary is being <clears throat> I like how the GPS is like our own personal Jarvis. All right, the question is, what are we going to do now? Check out this race club E thing. At the next intersection, turn right. Turn Whoa! Right. Going way too fast on that. <laughs> Everyone else is like, who's this new guy in Hawaii that's just watching me peel around corners, burning rubber in the intersections, pushing soccer moms out of the way? Get out of the way! <laughs> I think I flipped that whole car. There's a race over here. Is this the one that we lost? Because if so, I would like to retry this one. Enter. Okay, this is our tutorial race. This is rookie level. We'll get 7,000 clamos if we beat this. I think I just selected normal. I don't know how it affects the clamos, but. All right, here we go. Illegal street race in midday. Man, they're all accelerating ahead of me. My car sucks. Turn right. Oh, God. Ugh, I thought I had figured turns out, but I guess not. Okay, we, we got this. What happened to my rental car, by the way? I kind of wish I still had that. I don't know why I gave it up for this. I had like 28 meters, uh, 28 meters, 28 minutes left on the meter. 
Oh, hey, that worked. Banging off the phone pole actually sort of helped me out. Okay. Or turn right ahead of the intersection if you want to cut down on your time. So we only have to hit these checkpoints. So I wonder if there are shortcuts. You can just sort of like go off road and uh At the next intersection, turn left. Turn left. Uh go. This car sucks, man. The rental car was was catching up to these guys like it was no problem at all. Go. You might say it's my my handling of the car, my inability to do normal turns, but I'm not convinced that's why we're losing this race. I think we're getting ripped off here with a shitty car. I want to go back to the dealership and return this hunk of junk. Yeah, this car sucks. Jesus. Boo. Yeah, let's try it. Let's retry one time. Maybe, maybe it's me. Maybe I'm terrible. All right, change vehicle. Yeah, look at this car. Speed the lowest, acceleration second lowest. Forget it. There's, what's the point? Why well, even bother to race? This is one thing about racing games that has always perplexed me, and just racing in general. It's like, you can be the best racer ever, but if you're racing a shitty car, you're just never going to win against better cars. So sort of like the hardware makes a lot of difference. Almost, I like, not undermining racing skill. Definitely racing skill does have a big impact on who's going to win. But at the end of the day, if you're racing a crappy car, you're racing a crappy car, you're just not going to win, you know? Anyway, um, let's see here. Hard. Keep racing on normal, I guess. Why go out of our comfort zone? I don't want to trade my car and right away for a better car. Turn left. Out of the way, meatbags. All right, well, with sheer aggression, we've managed to elbow our way into second, so that's something. Question is, can we catch up to this first place guy? Oh, okay, we did that turn. I think I'm kind of getting a feel for the turns. But only sort of. Okay, that turn went okay. I just can't catch up to anybody in this game. He's... Get out of here! My only hope is to be an aggressive dick. <laughs> I can't win through speed, that's for sure. I'm... I'm finding the car dealership and returning this car, man. And I think I slowed down way too much on that last turn. Yeah, I'm now losing spots. Ridiculous. Go! Oh, I quit. <laughs> I quit this race. Screw this. Yes. Your itinerary is being recalculated. All right. So, first of all, wait, what the hell? How did I? How did I open? Left and right. What is happening? How did I... I have, like, the radio open, and I don't know how to close it. There it is. Uh, there's something. Okay. Let's go... to... Stupid Saturn Roadster's a hunk of junk. Let's go to the car rental place. I think that's how you make money in this game. Yeah. 
Look at that thing. Acceleration, speed. 3,000 bucks for 30 minutes. Done. Rent this vehicle, yes. Your itinerary is All right. Now let's go race some jerks. All right. So where was the race? Dead. Yeah, I don't know where it was, but we'll find it. Your itinerary is being recalculated. Okay, there's a race up here and to the right. Turn left. No, I will not. I have to redeem myself, game. Okay, so we need to make more money than we borrowed. So let's go for let's go for the gusto. No, we can't. We need an E class car. Oh my god. So wait, you're supposed to race with certain classes of car? Hold on a sec here. Okay, so that's an E class event. We would have to race with our non-rental. I just rented this car though. I'd like to Ouch. I'd like to find that tutorial rental. What is this red dot over here? Cops are after me. Oh the red dot is a cop car. Excuse me, officer! Nothing to see! <laughs> Oh, I see. Okay, so you're not supposed to do that. In the wrong Please, turn Please turn around. The police are requesting you stop your vehicle. Oh, nice try, coppers. Totally missed that turn. Yeah, we're gonna go this way. So this is sort of a bit like Grand Theft Auto, I guess? Hmm. All right, well, we paid for this car. In the wrong direction. Please turn around. Paid for this lovely sports car, and I have no races to take it on. I guess I'll go back down here and try and get back on the GPS direction. There we go. All right, the GPS wants us to go this way. Your destination is two miles away. Let's see where this goes. Whoa! Look down for a second. Don't do that while you're driving. Okay, race is up here. Presumably. Out of the way, car. <laughs> Crazy how your car seemingly doesn't take damage. Like, you can just do whatever you want. Hit other cars, it doesn't really make a difference. At the next intersection, turn right. Whoa. Whoa. Alright. We're on the wrong side of the turn barrier, but this is the road we want to follow. So I'll consider that a success. You know, truthfully, I kind of wish, like, I don't hate this o this open world thing, but I also just kind of wish there was a menu to click that would just take me to my next race. Because I feel like I'm driving around for no point right now. I'd love to make money with this rental car. Don't know how to do it, though. Where are we even? We're in the mountains. Come get me, coppers. Turns out this rental car goes off-road, too. Okay, there's got to be an e-brake. Hold on. You have reached your destination. All right, whatever. Let's just race this. Race. Oh, we're racing on hard. It actually let me do it. And we're racing in the good car, too. We got to make some cash. Oh, shoot. I need to do that. 
Okay, so the the D-pad basically brings up all those weird menu options that I don't need or want. Okay, we're getting places. If I'm able to place on hard, then I 100% contend this game is more about the car than the skill. If I can't, if I don't place, then you guys are right to tell me that it, it, racing is more about skill than the car. But if I can place somehow, I want credit. Oh God! Oh yes, thank you. Okay, I gotta start paying attention to the uh, the mini map here. That one turn that I just did was atrocious, and it likely cost me the entire game. I can't let Big turns like that. Big mistakes, we call them, happen. Luckily, my car is so damn fast, I'm like literally still catching up to these suckers. Look at that. Yes, this is what I want. A big open road with very little turns. Oh, you dick. Oh. Maintain control of the car, though. Good. This is some cool downtown uh, buildings, scenery and stuff. I don't think I'm gonna catch up to the first place guy. Third place though, yes. Oh shoot, wasn't watching the mini map. Okay, did I pass the checkpoint? What's happening? Oh, I... Fuck this up real bad. All right, hold on. Restart. <sighs> this is the turns, man. I guess you're not supposed to go into a turn going like 180 miles an hour. Who knew? It's supposed to actually brake. I still am not 100% sure what the brake button actually is. I think it's square. But I was trying, there, I was kind of thinking like there can't just be one brake button. There's got to be like an e-brake or something. So I was thinking maybe circle. No, I think it's just square. Unless it's the bumpers. I'm almost like a little too afraid to try though. Because I'm afraid if one of them is a brake and I hit it, it will screw me up and I'll either crash or will cost me the race. Oh. Strategic collision is how you make a, a turn correctly. If you're coming in a turn way too hot, just take that turn and do a little bumpy on the side. Oh, God. Got it. Okay, that wasn't as bad as I've taken that turn before. But something. I'm convinced the way to speed run this is to just those tight turns is to like cut them, like cut those turns and take a shortcut off road. I think it's faster than just trying to actually slow down and do the turn. My belief anyway. Whoa. See, slowing down there, braking would have hurt me. I actually passed that guy through controlled collisions. We're almost in first on hard. This is how you do. This is how you test drive a car rental. We have 22 minutes left with this baby. Excuse me. Okay, now that we're winning, we can be a little more cautious. I think we got it. This is actually a very lovely city. You know, I talk trash about Florida, but it reminds me like of Miami. Again, not that I've ever been to Miami, but I hear Miami's quite a town, quite a scene. Yes. You'll never pass me. Oh my God, are we actually gonna do this? Yes, I'm just my accelerating. My thumb is right to the, to the bottom of the button there. Boom! First place on hard. <laughs> it's not about skill. Well, kind of. I had to actually use some skill and slow down in turns and stuff. 
But I'm telling you, man, the car makes a massive difference. Massive difference. I just made 40 G's. I made more money on that race than uh, my original car even cost me. Think about that. I spent $33,000 on a piece of junk. Oh, oh, you, you dicks. I spent $33,000 on a car that literally couldn't win a single race. I rented this car for $3,000. And I made $40,000 in winnings. That is how you make it in this world. That and avoiding arrest by the Popo. Who are clearly right behind me. I'm getting like uh, Grand Theft Auto Vice City vibes out of this game, actually. Let's do another race. Oh, can't pass that curb. <laughs> the cops just drove right by me. They're like, hey, did he stop? Be funny. You've been pulled over. We'll let you off with a warning, but keep an eagle eye out. Warning is don't drive on the wrong side of the road and ram other cars, I guess. Speeding, ignoring traffic, and eight collisions. Well, that would have cost me $9,000. So wait, you have to obey the rules of the road around here? Kind of lame. What an amazing video game. You have to actually obey laws. Not for me. Okay, let's try this one on hard as well. All about making that sweet cash. That cheddar. Who's financing these races? Some billionaires like, you four guys with nice cars, race. I'll give the winner $17,000 for no reason. Just because I like to instill chaos. Oh, get out of the way, you bastard. Turn right. Oh my god. We're trading paint here. Turn right. Oh. I cannot make gains on these guys. This is like... This track is like too many... Turn right. Too many turns. There we go, we cut a corner short. I think that made a difference. Accelerate. Turn left. Ugh. Accelerate. <laughs> this track sucks. First place dick, get back here. Turn right. Go. Turn left. Go. And the first place guy is like actually getting a little farther away from me. Turn right. I can't seem to like actually Turn left. shorten that gap. Turn right. No, not the pole. Oh! Alright, we're restarting this race. In fact, we might quit this race. This is the kind of race I don't do well at. This is a series of short, tight turns. We'll try it again anyway. I wish they would actually show you the whole uh, track instead of just one checkpoint at a time, like in your minimap. I wish you could actually see where I was supposed to go so I could like plan out more than a turn. Okay. Turn right. Good. Oh, bastard. Turn right. Turn left. Oh my god, with the pole. I'm convinced I can do this. I don't know, I'll try one more time and I'll give up. And I don't want to turn it down off hard because I need the money. I guess here's where skill comes. Maybe there's some skill to it. Whatever. Turn right. Left turn. Oh, yeah. Turn left. left turn. Go. 
are you passing me, dude? Oh, I was trying to go between the pole. Okay, it's okay. I survived. Okay, we did it. Ooh. Ugh. Get out of here. Go. Oh, he's pushing me. Shit. <laughs> No. Ah, uh, screw this race. <sighs> just frustrating because I was getting first and then I was just losing. I don't know. I guess let's end on one more race. I suppose. Why not? I mean, is there anything else to do? What is this couch? I mean, like, a buy a Volkswagen. You must visit the road to be able to teleport to it. Like, where are the races? Is that a race? I'm not crazy about this interface because it, it just feels like annoying to find the next race. Okay, I'm just going to drive forward and see what this thing is over here. What is this? Flush. Lock the fastest speed past the cameras. Okay. Need an E-class car. Okay. Uh, return my rental, whatever. Alright. I'm not crazy about the rental car mechanics because I kind of wanted to keep my rental. But whatever. I'm supposed to drive as fast as possible past... Past what? What's down here? Wait, that's it? 47 miles an hour? Oh, I see. I only have two seconds left. I was like, what is, what is, even is this challenge? Okay, so you have to get past all four. And you only have, like, a set amount of time, I understand. So this is sort of like a strategy. Okay, so we're gonna take, we'll have to take a hit on one camera. I'm not convinced you can get, like, a hundred miles an hour on all of them. Up here. I was 71 for that. That one was not bad. Then we'll just go here. Well, I was hoping to be going faster for this one. 90. I guess it's okay. There we go. 112, baby. Failed! Wait, what? Failed, but you achieved gold? I'm confused. What? Did I take too much time? Uh, did I fail that or didn't I? I'm, I'm very confused. Um, okay, I guess let's try one more thing. Why not? 
I don't even know how we can buy another car. I feel like we've made some cash and it'd be nice to buy a nice car, but I don't know how to do that. Are you serious? I didn't stop at the stop sign and now the cops are after me? Oops. You're gonna arrest me? I thought Hawaii was an island paradise, man. Here I am, minding my own business. In my sports car, which I didn't buy with illegal drug money. I definitely didn't buy with the illegal drug money, and you guys are gonna arrest me. You guys are jerks. Where am I going, even? Any other races around here? None that I can find. I'm lost. All right, well, this is Test Drive Unlimited. One of the games to book a thousand video games just play before you die. Honestly, when this game came out, the open world stuff here, I bet people would have found, like, pretty interesting and neat. Being able to drive to your race is not a terrible idea. Um... I'm not crazy about it personally, because I feel like I'd rather just click the next race in a menu. But I understand how something like this could appeal to some people, so I... You know what? For me, I think this isn't exactly my type of game, but I can sort of see what they were going for here, and I think if you are into racing games, especially if you like the racing simulator angle, the sort of... Because this does feel a little bit more like a simulator than something like Grand Theft Auto. And I don't hate the fact that you gotta buy, like, an apartment and stuff. That is kind of... that is kind of interesting, so... Yeah, I don't know. I, I guess for this one, I could see how someone could enjoy this more than me. Um, and that's... that's my thinking on this one. What do you guys think of Test Drive Unlimited, though? Does it look awesome? Does it look terrible? Send off in the comments down below. And as always, whatever you think of the game, hopefully you guys uh, were entertained today. If you were, don't forget to like the video and all that stuff. And other than that, I will catch you in the next one. I think we did a full 360, and we're literally now just back at that race that I was doing before that I was losing at. Hold on, let's just see if it is. You have reached your destination. Is this the stupid low-speed chase race? The chase race. I think it is. Okay, I'm gonna give this one one more shot just to see if in a crappier car with less crazy acceleration if it's actually easier. This top speed I don't think matters as much in this one. Although everyone's immediately pulling away from me. Just like before. I think I'm taking the corners way too tight. Turn right. No, I'm still going too fast. I don't know. I'm not very good at the turns in this one. I think that's detracting from my enjoyment, but I don't know. Anyway, guys, uh, yeah. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments down below. And as always, hope you had fun. I will catch you in the next one. Until next time, my friends, you take care of yourselves. In peace.